Gill uniform, run my left clear to land. Run my left clear to land, Victor Gill uniform. I think I've got the pen. That's what you're looking for. Foxbird 8281, runway right, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, Foxbird 8281. Back burning over there, or a real fire, or what? I think it's back burning because they've got doing it down there as well. Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah, it's funny. The, the smoke there is going that way, and the smoke over there is going that way. Yes, good point. Thanks to Tower Delta. That, that, right that is suspicious, isn't it? Alright. Jeremy, Tower, good airport living. Traffic in level 2, clear meta area, helicopter bubbling over on your budget range, three miles. Next one we need is 121 decimal 2. Level 2, So we're going Brinjelli to Penrose, that's going to be at 6,500 feet on a heading of 202. Uh, Fire, so dial it up in here. Uh, good idea. 202, about there. Thank you. Now, uh, on the way out, we can be at uh, 4,500 once we pass the L-shaped lake. We cannot get to 6,500 until after we are past, let's say, Picton. That is about 4,000 feet of climb. So I believe we expect about two minutes additional for climbing. That's if you're two and a half thousand feet. Yeah, you get a, there. I, that's a good point. All right, I, I take your point. I was getting blown around a lot. I didn't want to be too high, but I've lost a couple hundred feet, I'm aware. It's actually a lot smoother now than what it was earlier. It is. Oh, you mean uh, earlier today? Yeah, we had moderate turbulence out here. Oh, okay. This morning, so it's a lot smoother. Well, I can be thankful for that. Especially at this height.
departures, Delta Zero Romeo is passing 2,000, uh, correction, 2,300 on climb 3,000 on the bank side, departure. Delta Zero Romeo. All right. Okay. Happy with that. I'm going to turn for 202. The time is uh, 5 1. All right. Okay, so uh, actual time of departure was 5-1 from Brinjelli. Uh, for Bankstown, we want to subtract six minutes for 4-5. Um, the ETA is 5-1 plus 2-9 is 2-0. Uh, All right, ETA 1 should be 2-0. Yep. All right, engine... Temperatures and pressures look all right. The mixture is full rich for a climb. Uh, we can climb to 4,500 now, so I'm going to do that. Camden, maintain 5,000. No, I forgot my four minutes. No, uh, two minutes for climbing. Two, two. They're really not climbing well. Do I want nose lower than this? No, that's all right. That'll do. Okay. I guess it's warm and heavy. We got mountain waves. Don't forget. What does that have to do with the uh, climb rate? We're in a down wave. Oh, are we? Okay. When we get to the up wave, you'll see. The <laughs> right. Yeah, we okay. go up quicker. All right. Yeah. Do anything you have wind 90 degrees? To a mountain range? Yeah, you yeah. Get this wave effect. Yeah, I'm aware of that, and you can see the clouds. Hey, are we gonna? We'll be high enough where that's not a problem. Yeah, it should be. Okay. Any departures go off. Good afternoon, Singapore. Seven two nine five. Lenticular clouds. Six hundred climbing five thousand. Singapore. Nothing. We've got a lot of fuel on board too. Yeah. Come by, sir. Flight level two eight zero. Cancel. We're probably about nine hundred. Via seat level nine hundred forty nine hundred fifty kilos. Singapore. Seven two nine five heavy. Now, Pete just told me 10 minutes ago that it shouldn't be more than 900. Maybe he means without people. Well, we're, we're both, I'm 90, you're what, 60s? Uh, 73 maybe? Yeah, no, we're, with the basic weight, it's about 930, 940. Okay, I guess I gotta do the calculations. That's right, you can fly in utility category, just... Oh, true, you yeah. You can't do as much G. Yeah, that's right, I forgot uh, that we've got that, uh... Leeway. Instead of pulling 6 G, I mean you can pull 5. 5? Yeah. Really? Okay. That's plenty. Yeah. If you take a straight line variation from 900 down... Yeah. ...on the, the G, you can actually calculate what you can do, but it's not as much. So, yeah. we don't let people operate at that weight because usually they overstep, especially when they pull into loops and reverse cube. And, yeah, they can do it too. And, and then you'll have the stress. Too eager. Sometimes a stand comes back from his flight, <laughs> there's like minus two. Oh yeah. And I said to Pete, has he done any outside manoeuvres training with you? He's gone, nut. Nah. There's a minus two on the G meter. Well, he's done the training by himself. Yeah. <laughs> Just add water. He's a worry. All right. All right. 4,400 now. Take the compass again. Guys, crap. All right. All right. Uh, so now.
now I should probably lean it, hey. Yeah. Descent to 2,500. Descent 2,500, Delta Sierra, yeah. All right, call that good for now. Hey, uh, radio, we want uh, one two one decimal two at two thirds point, so we shouldn't be there yet. Um, orientation, well, I know we're going the right way over Camden. Just saw it. Um, future times, we want to add 10 minutes plus one minute climb. The first third. Delta Sierra Romeo, turn left, heading 310 to intercept, clear ILS, runway 28. You lean it for 4 4, maintain 4 4, otherwise you'll lean it out further. Yeah, but 3100, clear ILS. Don't we get holes in the pistons. That's not good. I won't do that. All right, so 5-1 plus uh, 11 minutes is 02. Singapore 72 or any directs available? Just waiting for you to get through inbound traffic. Plus another 11 is 1-3. Uh, and fuel, it should not be time for yet, but we said we left at 4-5. So your split's going to be 4-5-1-5. Yep. Singapore 7295, clear direct to Canada. Right turn on this thing. All right, four, five, one, five, four, five, one, five. Delta Sierra, I mean, established. Four, five. And at four, five, we said we had one, two, four. Guitar, one, three, five, decimal five. All right, now, with all that done, we expect to be there at O2. Is that what I said? Yep. It is now five, eight. I'm gonna try to leave all this alone for a few minutes. Hold the heading. Oh man. Put it four four. Traffic up ahead. Don't know if we'll overtake it or not. Oh, I think. All right, now I'm supposed to read the map. So, uh, at zero two, we expect Picton and Thoroughmere and Tom Moore. Off to the left. Uh, we expect a big lake to our right with a fork, pretty much a beam. Singapore 7295, clear direct um, to a large highway going through Picton and Thoroughmere. That's where we can climb to. So, Big lake, and fork, it's probably this. Yeah, it's traffic there. Yeah. Uh, another look at this, sorry. Bend in the highway at Picton, and then Thoroughmere is off the side of the highway, and then Tom Moore's around after another bend. Doesn't too heavy, departures get out. So, uh, part of a tater, cancel speed. I mean, it's these guys, but I don't know which is which. I haven't figured it out yet. Drop your wing. Oh, yeah, drop your wing. Hey? There's the bend in the highway. Yeah. At Picton. Yeah. So that's Picton. That should be Thorough Mirror. That's Tom Moore. Very good. All right. So I'd be afraid to drop the wing. Okay. So, uh, all right, now here's where I'm really bad with the distance uh, estimation. How far would you say we're from, sorry, which one is that? That's uh, Thoroughmere. How far from Thoroughmere here? Two miles. Two miles? All right. Thank you, no traffic for your descent. So it is zero one right now.
We're just coming up on two miles of beam Thermomere. Oh my god, flying a plane is hard. <laughs> Alright, uh... Fox 8632, request start, I'll remember. Where is my mile markers? I don't have, oh, these are five mile markers, that's right. One mile is the little guy here. Cool sun again. Hang on. Fox 8632. Alright, two miles from Thoromir. Should be about here. With the, uh, start time of man Would you agree? Amending the start time from zero right now. Arrival at Bank Town to zero six three zero. Arrival at Bank Town, please. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Copy the minute start time. Zero two three zero. Bank Town. Thank you. I just you go back to your heading. Yep. Now my heading shit right now is one nine. Uh. We're about one mile off course, so uh, one in 20 means three degrees plus one, so four and a half degrees to the left from, well, I guess if I was steering 202. So let's say we want 197 now. Uh, 197, and what am I actually steering? Not the right heading. Five. All right, so I've turned quite a bit left. Yep. Yep. While well, I messed around with the maps. I also lost a few hundred feet. That's great. 8632 center. 8632, go ahead. Just confirm your destination was uh, just Bankstown? Yeah, confirmed. Bankstown for arrival. 8632. And uh, you're from Cessnock? Yes, confirmed. All right, that's Compass. Uh, I've pinpointed myself at 02. Actually, temperatures and pressures are good. We want to climb now, right? Log. Huh? Log. Oh, log. Uh, what am I logging? Flip it over. The new heading. Oh, the new heading. Thank you. Which was 197. Uh, we log that? Where do we log that? Let's put it underneath. All right. And 86. 197. Uh, okay. I've logged the new heading. I'm at 4,000 feet, but I need to climb. I'm going to set this bridge. Okay. Go back to 197 before I start climbing. All right. A lot to do. Okay. Fire. Maybe not big. Seven two nine five contact center one three three decimal five. Good day. Center one three three five Singapore seven two nine five. Good day. Approach to the Sierra Romeo, passing one thousand nine hundred on climb five thousand. Uh, Tracking direct Camden. Request traffic uh, direct Whiskey Bravo. Jasmine two K direct Giros. Direct Giros seven two. Delta Sierra Romeo, you are identified. Sorry, just say your uh, antenna waypoint again. Delta Sierra Romeo. Delta Sierra Romeo, passing 2500, track direct to Camden Whiskey Bravo. Passing 2500, track direct Camden These clouds Delta are probably Delta at Sierra. about, what, 6,000, 6,500? Oh, you're gonna find out. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Be in the down wave right now. Yeah. I guess you can see it from the shape of the clouds. Victor, Victor, Kilo, no traffic for your descent. Whiskey India, identification terminates. Contact Camden 120 decimal 1. I guess I'd better steer around this cloud. Hey. 768, passing 2500, climbing to 5000. This is 768, departure, get out, identify, come by, sit, flat double tater. Feels like we're going to hit it. Victor, Victor, kill identification terminate. Contact Camden Tower, 120 decimal 1. 120 decimal 1, Victor, Victor, kill out. 
Yeah, it seems like this altitude is not going to work. What do you think? Ten second, I get extra Lima Victor 13 has 500. Uh, we'll probably be um, pretty much in the middle of the cloud, I think. Contact approach one two decimal three. But that's no good, eh? Yeah. It'll make it harder for you to pinpoint as well. All right, should we go down to? Well, what do we do then? Five thousand five hundred or four thousand five hundred? We'll go to five thousand five hundred. All right. My girl set us up for the next leg. Yep. issues. Uh, Delta Sierra, I mean. 
mud right near the uh, bend. All right, well, I see a bend up here, but I don't see, uh, unless that's Bowerl and that's Mossvale. We have Barum, uh, right up there. This should also be the, is that Mandamar? Is that a aerodrome? And, uh, Remember, Echo Whiskey departure could actually mine off to the right. There are small things. I should look for the road from Moss Vale to Sutton. Okay, uh, leave re enter on the 10th, 7th, yeah, 425 Echo Whiskey. Sydney, send a helicopter extra Victor Zulu. Extra Victor Zulu, go ahead. Extra Victor Zulu is uh, one mile. Yeah, left. okay. Alright, so my theory is that's Barama up here, that's Moss, uh, sorry, that's Bowerl, and that's Mossvale. And beyond Bower, oh, yeah, I forgot to look for the water, that's the dumb thing. There's the water. Alright. Alright, then that's definitely Bowerl. Okay, so the edge of Bowerl, three miles? Four miles? Oh, that's the more. close edge? That's more, that's probably around, um, I'd say, four, uh, probably closer to five miles. Okay, so that's five miles, but more importantly, we're coming up on that intersection between the two roads right here. If I can find that on the map, that's much clearer. Yeah, I think that's right here. First off, 768, contact center 133 decimal 5. I believe we're about right here. So on track, which means we are uh, actually left of the expected track. What time is it? Uh, 1-3. 1-3. Three. Three. Okay, I forgot to adjust my ETA before I realized, but more importantly, we are... Maybe a mile left of where we should be. And, uh, sorry, just your uh, so a mile and 20 is 3 degrees, yeah, so we want to go back 6 degrees to the right, to 203. So I'm going to do that. Also, I'm just way off heading right now. Alright. Captain of the Long Island City Beach area, Sierra Kilo Romeo, 4 minute parachute drop. Expect. Five canopies from flight level flag south point. Delta Sierra Romeo Control Service terminates and uh, contact me one to four decimal five five. Hundred. All right, that's a compass. Um, log. Well, it looks like we flew about a mile further than we, maybe two miles further. Let's say we're one minute early. Uh, one minute early at two-thirds point. Uh, maybe I'll say one minute further. Sorry, one minute early here. I'm not actually sure. I don't know how to do that calculation off the top of my head, so I'm just going to uh, do 2-1. Um, it's just looking all right, but I've lost my heading again, I think. Sierra Whiskey Bravo, just behind you is X-ray Whiskey, correction, X-ray Victor Zero, Robin, four thousand three hundred. Uh, altitude, we are at 5,400 because of the clouds. Radio, we're supposed to change now. Next one is 124 decimal one. Orientation, well, we got Mossville on our left here, as we should. More or less following the curve of the big road as we should, largely correct. Um, future times I've done, I did it too early, and fuel is at 1.5, which is now 9.9. Nine. So 9.9 nine is... And we expect to be there about 2 1, I say. I'm not really sure about that. Pictures on climb through 5000 up to flight level 150 of the parachute ops, Maria.
much easier when I remember to look for the water. <laughs> yeah. He went for the uh, small pages yeah, right yeah. away. I, to my credit, I said the water ahead of time. That was the first thing I said. Yeah. But then I forgot about it. Yeah. I, yeah. Heard, I heard you in my head. So that means you're doing your job right, I guess. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fork in the uh, lake was excellent. That's, yeah. that's a mega big feature. Yeah, yeah. And we were supposed to be a beam it. So you reckon you took a minute off there? I'd yeah. probably suggest if you got one minute early, it'd be two minutes yeah. early, um, two zero. Well, I didn't do it at the halfway, at the first third, but okay, let's say two zero. Because that's a trend that's developed. Right, well over. That's, you're right, and that means I should be looking now. All right, so when we come up, we're going to be at Penrose. There's two parallel roads. Uh, we got the big fork in the um, lake off to the left beyond Penrose with another fork out in front of it. Uh, the road that Penrose is on has a, a minor bend in it. The river crosses beyond Penrose, crosses the road. Sorry, I'm diving. Um, what, you want to show me something? Uh, oh, look at this big valley here. Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing I said. Up, up here, it should be there, uh, beyond Penrose. Um, there's a crossing between the road and the river there. There's railway tracks along the road that diverge later on. Uh, and there's a bend in the major road here with power lines coming across the major road. Alright, so now I'll look out the window and see what the hell I see Remember, here. Bend in the Yeah, the, so the big uh Yeah, so there's the big fork, the big valley over here. Uh the bend in the minor road with Penrose on it. And then the major roads over here. So notice that's a bigger town there. Yeah, it can't be that one. Uh it should be that one then is my guess. We have power line uh where were the power lines on here? Across the road. Okay, the major town's probably Bundanoon. The power lines cross the road about there. So there's Bundanoon. I expected to see cuts in the trees for the power lines. Are there trees there? No, maybe not. Uh, not sure I see the power lines. Maybe, yeah, there's a road though. Doesn't matter. What's the next town down the line from Bundanoon? Well, what's, but I don't know for sure it's Bundanoon. That's the thing. I mean, it's Penrose down the line from Bundanoon, so. Uh, Here's Bundadoon. I'm not sure I see the road, to be honest. Maybe it's the one that goes by the edge of the trees there. But, uh... Just hold your heading. Hold your time. Well, it should be about now. Yeah. Drop the wing. So that's got to be Bundadoon. It's not big enough to be a shithole called Penrose, as you call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, you're taking up my vernacular. Very good. Yeah. All right. The so Penrose is near that, uh, is past the Big Fork. About, like, the, the Big Fork in the river is about uh, halfway between Bundanoon and Penrose. Bundanoon and Penrose. There's a Big Fork. So yeah. I expect Penrose to be... Well, shit, I don't know. I mean, how much built-up area is Penrose? Here's a major road. I'm diverging from it too far, I think. I think it must be this. Let's have a look. That does look like a shithole down there. <laughs> There's some industrial stuff there. And a cut that looks like it's power lines. Gotta be around here somewhere. I mean, there's the industrial stuff. Is that Penrose? Maybe that's the quarries? Oh, there's quarries of being Penrose. All right. I mean, I don't see a town, that's the thing. I see a few houses, maybe that's a few buildings. And then, here's a bunch of rock on the ground. I mean, that could be the quarry. I'm gonna say that's the quarry we're, that we're over right now. Is that is that right? That'd be a fair assumption, yeah. Yeah, all right. So, uh, so I, I mean, but where's Penrose? Is this Penrose, just this, this, this roadside stop? Well, it's got a road railway line going through it, hasn't it not? Yeah, all right, good call. So here's Penrose, all right. And it's the 
look at that. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So that's why I thought this was Penrose. All right, I feel happy about that. Okay, so we're at Penrose at 2-2. Uh, two, two. So Penrose 2-2. Two, two. All right, the next one is a heading of 3-2-3. Three, three. Uh, let me check my compass. Uh, about south. A little past south. About south, all right. So I'm going to turn to 323. Three. Uh, which way do I want? I want right. Okay. I want. Oh, time is. It was 2 2 when I looked oh. at, at Penrose. We're turning now, so take the time now. All right, 2 3 then. All right, 2 3. And 2 3 plus 3 0 is 5 3 for the first one. That is a country town in Australia. They get smaller no, than man, that. No, man, there's nothing there, yeah. They get smaller I than that. I bet they do in the outback or whatever, hey. Oh, no, no, not even the outback. Yeah? You, you go that way 100 miles and they're half the size of that. Oh, wow, okay. So there's just a pub or whatever. Probably in a grocery store, maybe, if you're lucky. So I guess, yeah, you just have your, a petrol station in and a post office, and that's it. All right. 315, 218. Okay. Low ray, maybe slightly leaner. Right. Altitude, we get to 5.5 five proper like we're supposed to be. Radio is. Like, am I doing? I'm doing this one. One, two, four decimal one at one quarter. Well, I'm just going to do that now. One, two, four decimal five, five next. All right, orientation. Here's the important one, eh? Um, so we've left Penrose. We expect the major road to be behind us. We expect the uh, big valley to be all that direction with wind farms off to the left. Big Valley's way over there. I'm not sure I can see the wind farms at the moment. Um, but we are crossing the major road behind us. I'm going to call that all right. Three. I'm supposed to do some instrument flight sometime soon, eh? Uh, but first I need to do this. Got to do this. All right, uh, 10 minutes. Plus, uh, when did we say? 2, 3? 3, 3, 4, 3. Look at the leg you put your times against. Did I do the wrong one? You did that on our return leg. Shit, I did, didn't I? Thank you. I have a habit of that. Four, three. Ignore this. Ignore this.
traffic in the Maria area, Yankee Mike Victor's four minutes. Now we're actually we're supposed to be at six five for this one. Yeah. It's the next one that's five five. But I'm gonna say here because of the clouds still. All right, this one's going to be a much tougher pinpoint, I think. We want the deep valley to be pointing right at us, off to the right. Uh, we want to be a beam, the uh, windmill, sorry, the, not wait, what do you call them, wind farms. Uh, actually, there's, there's supposed to be a road that crosses there, crosses our track, and then comes back around. And that road also crosses a river ahead when it comes back around. So that's at 3-3, so I'm a little bit early. Diving again. Yeah, because we're punching into the wind, it's going to take us a bit longer. Yeah. Well, I mean, supposedly I corrected for that, but... Uh it must have been wrong if we're punching into the wind now. It should have been from our left, based on the uh, report. Can I tell what direction it's coming from? Uh, I think it's coming from your left, but I think we're, we're going quite slow. So I got It does seem like it. Hey, you planned for what? Uh, one nine, I think, one nine knots. Yeah, I think we got close to 30. Seems like it, eh? All right, I'll cool it on the looking... But it doesn't um, matter. When you get to your first third, your pinpoint, you'll be able to work out how late you are and all Yeah, that absolutely. Stuff. I just got to find the damn thing. I still don't see those wind farms. Um, but as for the major feature, uh, yeah, we should see the big lake off in the distance. Like, maybe a, uh, what would that be? o'clock. And I suppose that's that. Um, and then smaller features. Yeah, the wind farms and the road were the two things I was thinking about. There's also some power lines if I can find those. And the river forking like this. So that's maybe the fork in the river. Um, I'll be damned if I know where the road is. Look at the shading better. That's high ground and the river's down in low ground. And the road looks like it goes through the low ground, but comes from the high ground. And there's a little homestead here. That's, that's maybe this tug along. If so, then we expect road to like be across the river from that. There are a few roads. A 
lost my heading to. Dry River down here. Is that the river splits? Yeah, one goes that way, goes up, one goes this way. That should be on the map. It should be, hey. That's this one, isn't it? The split here. Maybe. <laughs> if so, we expect the wind farms to be right over there. I don't see the damn things. That can happen. God, it all just looks the same here. Um, another river. Okay, I mean that's got to be the split there, and that's Oakwood up on the um, up on the. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's the split there. Three, four now. How far beyond that split are we at this point? About a mile. About a mile? But, uh, which direction? Alright. Well, maybe I should be doing the loss procedure now. Go back to the split. Okay, go back to the split. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Five and I was about three two zero when I did that, but all right. So here's an extreme bend in the river. Feels like that one should be on the map. A lot of bends in the river, though. That split. Two bits come together. What the hell is that? Why we expect this way? Hey, that must be this. But this, then we want tug along right down here. Maybe that's the. Maybe that. That tug along. Oh, you got the map. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Now, tug along's at the end of the road, not at the... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm turning again. It's like this thing here, this shape here, it should totally be on the map. Uh, where am I? Now we expect to be going roughly this way. So, maybe that split was here. Okay, we're there, boom, boom, boom. All right, we should have. And in the river, about there. Hey, you know, this has got uh, a very distinctive... 
Yeah, I mean, I figure that's probably it, but I can't, I can't get any confirmation. Um, uh, I see the, you know, the huge lake down there pointing at us. Yep. I, I feel like that's a decent confirmation, but it's so imprecise. I don't think I can call that a pinpoint. Um, I'm supposed to be in the slow speed configuration at this point, aren't I? Do I need to go full rich when I do that, or... Uh, we're at height. We're at height, it's alright? Oh yeah, alright. Okay. So, there's a big lake pointing at us. Beam us now. We're heading this way. We expect the hoo hoo here. Yeah, it, that's got to be it. It just looks more extreme. And then the tug along is like in the neck of that. So where where is that going? I think it's below me at this point. I've lost it. I expect tug along sort of like underneath me, maybe it's to the left a little bit. It must be this. There's a, a quarry here. There's a quarry next to tug along. November is uh, track 7000. Ah, uh, shit, where, where am I? Alright. Hello, Tango November, Sunny Gay. Alright, I'm gonna say that's tug along. That we're on, that's under us at the moment. In which case, I want to pinpoint there at uh, four zero. All right, and I'm going to resume my heading. No, well, I'm going to guesstimate that heading now. Oh, that's close enough. Um, what do I want to do? Okay, my reason for getting lost was shitty pinpointing, not any uh, systematic error. Um, I'm going to continue circling for a minute. I'll, re I'll clear correct the uh, time in a minute. So I want to resume going to Oberon. Like that. Distance. By tens, by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45 miles. All that, 22 minutes. Uh, and uh, that 22 is halfway. What time is it now and am I still over tug along more or less? 41 minutes. Not the right heading. This compass working. You didn't have to get me lost. Put 
Okay, I'm on tank. Just let me, uh, I would say it was about there, 4 2. All right. Hey, put your map away to your side. Okay. Got the. Alright, close your eyes and take your hands and feet off the controls. Okay. Alright, open your eyes and recover. Look at the instruments, not outside. Yep. Taking over, hands yeah. and feet off, eyes shut. Okay, handing over. Okay. There's your heading. Okay, we're just at the last pinpoint you were at. So note your time. Yep. So it's, uh, sorry, it's 4 5, and the heading says 325. Yeah. And am I allowed to look at the compass or no? No. Okay. You've got to hold your heading. Oh, you want me to hold the heading? I see. Okay. Sorry. I thought you. Yeah. Your heading was 323, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Here, hold that. Oh, hold that. I'm sorry. I thought you. I thought you were saying. Okay, never mind. We can descend down to four thousand five hundred. Okay. Four thousand five hundred, three two three. God, I forgot how hard this is.
let's descend down to 3,500. We'll continue to descend down to 3,000. Way off heading. Or the DI is way off. Seem to want to turn left. Okay, let's descend down to 2,500. Okay, taking over. Okay, note your time. Uh, five three. Okay. Take your foggles off. And the DI says three two three. Yep. All right. I'll grab your foggles. Yep. Standing over. Okay, number one. We're accepting. We're lost. Locate an anchor. There's a town. All right. Let's go to the town. Okay. Now, should I climb so I can see better? Hang on a second, before we go do that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, we should have... Go back to 3 2 free. Yep. Check how much we're off. Maybe because this DI is a bit dodgy. Yeah. Okay. Alright, 6-0. Compass. Okay. 6-0. We're at the town, three, so you can two, slow it down. Three. Yep. Alright, so the DI was... Uh, Okay, wide arc, 10 degrees flap. Oh, yeah. And Thanks. trim it accurately for level flight. Doing, all right. This town was almost on track, so. <laughs> the hint? All right, let's see. Okay. So we actually flew at about 60. Uh, we wanted to fly 323, and it was for about uh, eight minutes. Contact 124, decimal 55, kilo 10 minutes. Right. Uh, since your last known pinpoint, you can go on the track of 060. All right, 060. Four. So last known was about here. 060 is uh, 30 degrees above north, about say this way from there, and uh, eight minutes. Well, it was actually eight minutes from a different place, but uh, that's 
15 miles. Let's go back to the town. So, 15 miles that way is about here-ish. I don't know why you're saying that the town is on track. Well, I guess it was on the other track. Um, all right, so somewhere around here is uh, would be my guess. Let me have a look at your working. Yeah. Right. So very likely this is one of those towns. Um, all right. So what have we got here? Got something on fire over there. I remember that on the way out. Uh, we got the big bend in the river there. Is it all right for me to climb and right. have a look so I can see better? 2,500. All right. Oh, he knows. Because this usually occurs with bad weather. I'm simulating. All right, so you're simulating bad weather. Low overcast. Bad yeah. visibility. All right, fair enough. Get back to 2,500 and I'll have another look. All right, so we got a relatively big town here. Got a uh, bend in the river, an extreme bend in the river right there. Got another dried up river with a fork here. Good. So that's heading which way? Oh, um, there's west. Actually, um, make your DI the yeah. same so we stay orientated. Fix the damn DI. <laughs> All right, uh, about three three. Close enough. All right. So we expect the extreme bend in the river is at heading 3-3 three, three or so from uh, Fork. Notice that. Railway lines. And a road. And a road in the middle. Uh, railway lines in the middle of a big road. A two roads. Two, du dual carriageway. All right. So, there's a railway line going through Picton and Thurlmere, and I've been to the Thurlmere ra ra railway line. Okay, so stop uh, your turn there. We're here steering west. Yeah. Well, what do we see out to the west? We're steering west now, are we? Yeah. Uh, well, green. Yeah. And uh, a valley and power lines there. Yeah. So yeah. Valley, power lines, nothing much else. Yep. Okay, so so no nothing to beyond it. Let's turn south. All right. Oh, right. We're supposed to go all the directions. I see what you're doing. I forgot about that. Yep. All right. Now going south, we have, there's a, okay, stop on 180, a roll wings level. Oh, the okay. eye says one way past it, sorry. So, um, yeah, we've got a, like a bit of that a, way. a ravine, yeah. The ravine is basically north-south on this road, uh, or this is um, town. The road is actually coming out and going that way, okay. towards the southwest. Yep. Right. Let's turn on to east. Okay. Yeah, about there will do. Some works over there. Uh, what's beyond? Um, we got a big clear town. area. Another big town. Big town east. Oh yeah, okay. Gap between big towns or yeah, is east. Gap between big towns. All right. All right. That's up there. Uh, all right, so I mean the obvious uh, the obvious choice is one of these guys. The railway line goes through Buxton uh, and Thoroughmere, I believe. Um, to the east is a gap between two big towns, so that's probably Thoroughmere we're over. I'm going to turn back so we don't lose it. Um, but that's probably uh, the two east of Thoroughmere. What is that? Uh, Bux Buck picked into the north and Tomwer to the south. Buxton's also a small one, so it's probably not that one. Um, out west, we had the ravines. Up north, what did we say we had north? Uh, well, you had the, the water. The water. Well, yeah, there's water, you know, mostly north of it. Um, and then the power lines were out west. There are power lines out west there. Yeah. So I'm going to say this is uh, Thoroughmere. Have a look. I gotta get my wallet out of my pocket, it's hurting. Tell me, you reckon, eh? You think, you think no? 
I mostly chose that out of the uh, out of the other two because uh, to the east we've got the gap between the two big towns. Okay, so you look here, we've got the river running parallel to the railway line. Yeah. Okay, notice. That's the river. Where is the railway line? Parallel to the railway line. Do you reckon this is uh, Argo? But there's no two large towns to the east of Bargo. So it shouldn't be that, eh? Look at this here. Okay. Oh. Down here, called Buxton. Buxton. Which has a... Oh, Bargo uh, and Tamur. Yeah, road Oh, road. right, and right. I didn't the consider... river running parallel. So, oh, these are a lot bigger than that one, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, okay, then that would be Buxton. Again, the circle is small. Buxton, can yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamil, feel me. But I'm just looking at the ground. Is it, Are these two bigger than this one? Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah, you're right, you're Easy. right. Okay, I had that wrong. Okay, so then it must be Buxton. Uh, in which case, if that's Buxton, then we got Fargo and Tamur, and then... Uh, fuck, which way is north? It's uh, this way, isn't it? Yeah. Then there should be the others beyond Tamur, and there there is yeah okay one two yeah. three yep is that Camden up there or something no um, okay so this is probably Buxton is what we're saying so are we gonna plot a are we gonna plan for Buxton back to Bankstown yeah all right or to uh, to our end I suppose yeah well it's back to Bankstown anyway draw your line straight to Bankstown yeah we'll it's all just a, a guess visual procedure yeah right. that's fine okay so what time is it. It's uh, 02, and we're just on Buxton. Zero 02, Bankstown. Um, you notice also in this exercise, Buxton was the closest to your most probable circle. Yeah, that's a good point, yep. All right, so Buxton. One, two, three, about 30 miles to Bankstown. So halfway is at 15, 15 miles. All right, so uh, let's see, we're going. Okay, do what you're planning before you set course. Yep. This might I'm as just, well. You I'm just flying. trying to fly for a moment, sorry. All right, so we're going northeast. We probably want about um, it, five, five, although we got to worry about the, the um, boundaries. Um, the track looks like. I don't know, I'm not very good at this, 40 degrees I would say, which means uh, with the, the um, magnetic variation we want uh, uh, 2 8. Distance was 30 miles, so we expect 15 minutes. So eight minutes at the halfway point. Okay, uh, I drew the halfway point on there. Now we do have to worry about uh, PRD areas, don't we? From Buxton, uh, on the noon, it's around here. No, that's not right. Where's Buxton? There's Buxton. All right, we're not gonna hit this one. Uh, we'll go over Camden, that's fine. That's all familiar. Okay. So. Maybe I'll actually just do 3,500 from here since we're already low. Sounds good. Yeah. And, um, are we already in Sydney Center? I think we are. Yeah. So I'll get on frequency. It's uh, presently in your 10 o'clock at uh, 3 miles. Kilo Tango November, looking for traffic. As for fuel, Uniform November Bravo, turn left, heading... Cap 74, which is plenty to get to Bankstown, but you want me to work the exercise? Um, what time is it? 05, we didn't do this one. Anyway, I'm going to write it down. At 05, we had 74 liters. That's uh, two hours.